The whole neonicotinoid uh, debate was highly polarised, where there have been a number of laboratory studies showing uh, negative effects on wild bees and honeybees. And also there have been a number of field studies that have been undertaken at small scale and were poorly replicated, which had shown no effect. There was concern that this didn't represent um, the real world situation. So that's why we worked at large scale on real world commercial farms across Europe. The aim of the experiment was to measure the real world impacts of neonicotinoid pesticides on honeybees and wild bees. farmers that we've engaged with were all very concerned about the impacts of neonicotinoids on pollinators and were very interested to know whether their actions were doing any harm. And similarly, the honeybee keepers were very keen to know whether the seed dressings, the neonicotinoids, were having any negative effects on, on their honeybees. I think that's one of the reasons why they were very keen to engage with us. We very much believe in the principle of co-design. We work with the stakeholder and their in-depth practical knowledge of the system to develop a research program that will deliver practical solutions. We needed to make all of our protocols and data and findings completely open for scrutiny by anybody. We used a number of innovative ways to engage with uh, stakeholders. One of the most successful approaches to engagement that we undertook was uh, a Reddit debate, where we were able to engage with interested people across the whole of the world, where they could send in questions to myself and my team. And we were able to describe the experiment and the findings as we saw them. Going forward, we need uh, a better partnership between farmers and the farming industry and conservation organisations to develop new approaches to agriculture which minimise environmental damage but maximise beneficial effects that biodiversity can have on crop production such as pest control and pollination.